Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today we're going to be looking at touch compatible games on Xbox Game Pass. So originally only Minecraft Dungeons was supported with touch controls, but Microsoft have now added additional games in which we're going to be looking at today. So throughout the video you'll be able to see this floating network widget here. So we're going to be seeing the current download and upload speed and our ping response to the Google DNS server. So that'll hopefully give you a bit of an idea as to how much data or what sort of speed you require for the quality that you'll see in this video. So the video you're watching now is actually part of a longer video which I've split up into separate chunks. So if you want to see the other videos in this playlist then click in the top right and you can see all the other games that are touch compatible. I've also put links down below if you want to quickly jump to another game to have a look at what it looks like. So before I jump into the game I just want to show you the touch controls that appear when you load up one of the touch compatible games. As you can see here on this game Grab My Day 2 we have a d-pad here on the left and we have the face buttons and the bumper buttons and some triggers on the right. Now each game is fully customised by the developer to sort of meet the needs of the game as best as they can. Now you can actually adjust these if you click on the little controller in the top of the screen here. So by default they're set in a mirror mode so they exactly mirror each other on the both halves of the screen. Now you can if you wanted to swap them over completely but for the time being I'm going to turn off mirror and just adjust this one to be further down to the left a bit and maybe this one a bit further in for my finger. Now you can also adjust the size of the controls here that mainly just spaces them out rather than increase the size of the button itself and you can also rotate so if you prefer to have your jump button up there for example you can do but I'm just going to leave it as the sort of default area at the moment and I shall get into the game. But yeah, each game can be customised as you see fit, so be sure to adjust this as required for each game that you play. But until then, I'll see you at the end of the video and we'll just see how this game on its own looks. Come 
So what did you think of the touch controls in Xbox Game Pass? Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. If you want to become a member and join the channel, click on the join button and you get access to exclusive perks. And until then, I will see you again in the next video.